Mattia, well, first of all, welcome in Holland and of Thank course, you. welcome uh, at CIO Rotterdam. How yes. is CIO for you right now? How what, sorry? How, how is CIO for you? How Do you like oh, it? Oh, I love the venue. I think it's, um, it's great that it's actually a riding school as well. Like that blew my mind when I found out. Um, and it was really cool to see how it was basically like um, all the like warm up arenas and everything and the stables is just like placed in the forest. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that was really cool to see. Um, and yeah, I mean, everyone's been really nice. The horses look amazing. So yeah, no, I'm super excited to be here. You're, you're an international uh, model. Yes. Uh, you work for all the big brands, but you have a very big passion for horses, yes. right? <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit how that, well, how you get into the horses? Um, so I was very young when I got into the horses. I was eight years old and we had family friends that owned a riding school. So I went and had a riding lesson and I loved it. And then I, ever since I was like to my mom, I've got to go have more lessons. And so I started having weekly lessons. And then after that, I just kind of kept it going until I'm here. So, yeah. You own your own horse. Uh, you're riding dressage right now. Yes, I'm riding dressage with Chase. Um, Chase is a 17-2 hand high warm blood. He just turned eight um, and he's a very big softie. Yeah. So what are your goals with him? Do you have uh, high goals? Where you want, do you want to ride Grand Prix? Um, I think I want to train, go up through the levels, um, but make sure my horse is like sound and happy and I'm happy and we're both so passionate about what we do. And if we get to Grand Prix, that'll be amazing. Uh, I also read on your Instagram that you prefer geldings over mares. Oh, Can you huh. explain to me? <laughs> well, okay. I think it's easier to convince a gelding to do something than for a mare. I think a mare is better than a gelding but mares have more bad days. And I think, I don't know, I just really get along with geldings and it's, I've always owned geldings. So I think for me, it's just like, I've just connected with them a little bit more. Um, but yeah, nothing wrong with mares, just I prefer geldings. Uh, your horse had recently uh, an, an, an injury or he had yeah, a, correct. yeah, how is he doing? He, he was operated? Uh, yeah, so they found a tumor in his hoof um, on the pedal bone and we just operated like a week ago. So he's recovering now. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, he's doing well. He needs like three months rest. So one month box rest and two months in the paddock. And then he'll be good as new. So I'm excited. Yeah, with your work as international model, you have to travel a lot. How, yeah. do, how does normal days look, for, look like for you? Um, it depends. Like it can be like really, really hectic and busy or it can be quiet. So it's everything in modeling is always last minute. So whenever I have to do a job, it's like I know the day before. So it's really hard to like structure your day or anything. Uh, but yeah, I just make the most of it. So usually my day will be like, I'll ride, go to my horse, and then I'll either have to work in the morning or at night or throughout the day. And then, um, yeah, with my coach, I just try and, we try and figure it out so we can make it happen. Yeah, because you also travel a lot. You're away from home weeks, yeah, right? months. So I was away, last year I was away for four months, uh, like all at once. So I went, I was, I did a direct job in New York. And then after that, I flew to LA and I was in LA for four months and I was also like working in Europe. So that was hard, but I have a really good trainer. So she really helped me out with that. Yeah, so she takes care of your horse. Yeah, she's, um, we call her Auntie D because she's always sending me like cute photos of him and like um, just like really keeps me updated on everything. And she's been super supportive with this whole um, health issue I've had uh, because she's been the one that's like been taking him to the vets and been there for the recovery. So. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have like really supportive people around me. Yeah, it's good to have good people around. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. especially when you travel because it can get hard. Yeah. Well, good luck today and uh, have fun. Yes, yeah. awesome. Thank you.